Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I welcome you to Fallout 4. And yes, I have been waiting to put this game on the channel for a while. I played it a while back, but every time I do it, I just keep on forgetting. But now that I have the video format that I can use, I think I'm going to be able to finish it this time, not continue. No. So we're going to be rebooting this series. I hope you guys are ready. I've always gotten to like maybe even like before the halfway mark, and then it always cuts out right there, but... You know what, guys? I gotta start finishing it up. I gotta start doing well. So, yeah, let's get it. Hope you guys will enjoy this series. I really do. I hope you guys are ready for this. I love Fallout 4. First Fallout game, fun fact, I ever played as a kid. And, yeah, it, it got me to play Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. And even though I am 13 now, which still justifies me as a kid, it has a very dear heart, a very dear place in my heart to me, and I really do enjoy it. But until then, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy this game. And yeah, let us begin the fallout, baby. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. 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 Never changes. Uh, that was such a hype intro, bro. That was actually really good. I like that intro. That's one of my top ten, maybe my number two or number even one intro that I ever have heard. No joke. Hope you guys War are ready. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Alright, so first off, I'm going to go to extras and markings. I don't have any freckles, so I'm going to move those. You have such a those. strong chin. Then damage. So, you guys have never learned this about me, but when I was a kid, I got into a little bit of an accident with cartwheels. <laughs> it's, an, it's, it's dumb, but I got into a cartwheel freaking thing, and I gashed my right eyebrow, and now it has a scar on it, and that eyebrow hair is not going to freaking grow back. So, this is my right eyebrow. So, it's like right brow deep. Where is it? Let me see. Where is it? Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. But, it's more like... Let me see. It's not that. It's, it's just a deep little scar. It's deep, though. 
And I will never actually ever see that ever again, so Actually, that's that sucks. pretty nice. I do have this scar. I will keep this. Alright, so, now let's go to my character himself. Well, our character, and first off, color. I am more like this, but I'm more bronze, because my dad, another fun fact, my dad is 50-50, well, I am black, and my mom is full-on black. So, I am 75% black, if you do the math correctly. So, yeah. No, if I scope my forehead. I don't really want to scope my forehead. What do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Smooth. Textured series. Oh. I'm more of like smooth. And facial hair, let's get it. So, let's look. What I like is like uh, beards that connect into freaking uh, sideburns. That's what I like. That's more like me. Not like the street brawl. The street brawl looks like crap. Not this either. This. This is good. This is good. Or this one too. This could be good. But actually, I think this one is good. What do you think, hon? Beard or no beard? Then finally for the haircut, let's look. Urban Ranger. That looks cool, but not me. <laughs> Slick and sleazy. Hombre. Dishonorable dis discharge. Heavyweight. This is probably my hair now. So you know what I'm gonna stick with? Short crop. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Hey, did you get a haircut yesterday? Actually, let me look again. It's cute. So you got this, 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 this. Eh. Might stick with what I got. That's fine for me. And lastly, I might as well look at the nose. Hun, you think my nose is too big? Yeah, I can live with this nose. Don't worry, bud. Your nose isn't that big. All right, now let's go to body. So I'm more skinny in real life. A little, I have like little muscles, but like I don't have like big old boys like freaking these. But I'm not even fat either. But yeah, I think I'm, this is probably the best one I got. Yeah, this is me. This is me. So this will probably be me in the future, no joke. I made this as best as I could. Carefully crafted. Oh shoot. Hmm? Oh. Baby carriage. Looks like me and Nora had a baby. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Room to perfection. Today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Thank you, Codsworth. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bath Babies. My favorite. Nice. Let's look at the newspaper. Hmm. More of the same. Interesting. All right. So we can activate sugar all these, and they give us a one hundred percent daily value of sugar. Sugar bombs. Looks like the milk got delivered. Oh, sound like someone made a sticky. I should New Coca Cola. Sure. Ice cold. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hey, hon. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Uh, need to finish making Sean's costume. Hmm. Yeah, who left those here? I wonder who. I'll let me sit in my seat. I'm just gonna chill in my seat if anybody minds. Okay, so I found out how to go third person. You have to hit the middle PS, PS4 button. To like the, the freaking what's it called button. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Alright, let's go.
Good morning. vault calling. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. But I'm glad you're here. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. One Sounds, Sounds great. great. Oh, it is. Hmm. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Yes. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. So first off, what I've learned during the years is you can't, you can't, strength is not bad. Uh, let me see, charisma is always up, that's my thing. I'm gonna take strength down a peg. Probably up that, up, down. Endurance is a must. Luck, I really don't care. Affects the recharge rate of critical, I really don't care about luck. Cause you don't need luck when you got skill. And then our character's name will be Coleman. So yeah, sounds good. And I'm not gonna put a last name because I've noticed that all these characters they just go by one name like Cosworth and Nora and Sean. So let's go. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Uh, time for me to take a seat. Sean has been cheered for opening the store. Absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. Seems to be so good at. You heard Codsworth. Go on. All right. Let's, let me go see my baby. I like not close this door. Whatever. Let me play with my boy. How Such a cute the baby. Important man in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? <laughs> a little bit tired. Had to do some volunteer work today. Also, you guys followed need to see John Wick 3. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, shoot. Explosions. Are they running? We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh shoot! What's going on? We gotta oh, go. God. We, we need to get to the Who vault. Frick open the now. Door. I've got time. Let's go. Let's go, Nora, come on. Cloud first position is killing side, I guess. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, okay. I'm reporting this! Okay. If you're in the program, step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, you man. You two, follow me. Go Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? We're doing gate. everything we can. Now keep moving. Yeah, I might go in third person sometimes. I like first person more though, but Step sometimes if I wanna have a good like angle and stuff, or make the scene more relevant. Come on, Nora, let's go. I'm gonna, I might go third person. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh, oh it's true. Hold on. So we literally barely escaped in the nick of time. Well, even though I don't have luck, like any, I'm at one luck, but still, even though I don't have luck, it's like I got the devil's own luck. We did it. We made it. You all right? Everyone, please step it's off the elevator okay, right? and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, hey, up the stairs. I can't it. believe it. If we left a minute later... <sighs> no, we no. Don't, be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. Just this way, please. Vault Tech is here no, for way. you. All new this way, residents. please. Please proceed. Oh, I, I like third person more. It's starting to, it's starting to grow on me. Excuse me. Oh. oh my god. Good. Right over there. Just step over to the table. Yeah, looks fine. Over there. Take a suit. Take a vault suit, then head down the hall. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. All right. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Yeah, right, let's go. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Yep. What's it's gone. Now just our home. Everything Sir? we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How, oh, how long do you think we'll be down here? I know this is a difficult... <laughs> we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Just checking everyone off the list. The vault suit is designed to be fashionable in. as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? All right. Hey there. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Step into the chamber whenever you're ready. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. All right. Everything okay? I think he's better. You go ahead. All right. Let's pop in. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. <sighs> Resident secure. You guys ready for a whole new life? <sighs> Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five.
I guess I am now out of it. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 I would stop, I would stop, put down the gun. Stop, please, stop. Oh. Oh my god. They really just killed Nora. What the frick? First 10 seconds. Oh no, first 10 minutes and our wife gets killed already. What the freak? Thank you freaking Fallout for wrecking me. God dang it. <coughs> and like I said guys before, if you guys hear me like, like uh, like uh, like, what's the word? Like, if you guys hear me like, music a lot or something or like sneezing a lot i am sorry i am kind of sick and if my voice sounds weird i am sick have a little bit of a cold but i am fighting it and i am still pumping these videos out for you guys so don't worry now let's see what's happening come on there has to be a release come on come on come on oh god oh no oh shoot i'll find who did this and i'll get sean back I promise. Oh god, no. Oh god. Why would Voltaire do this? Can't be Hello? Anyone? Must have been What's Why this? Someone got out? Alright, so I got my fist out, so that's how you block, L2, I mean L, L2, and then to punch, R2, so it's like gun mechanics, so I'm guessing that, for, that's for everything, security logs, December 23rd, God, it's finally happened, the world's over, barely got all the residents aside, not everyone made it, now it's time, now it's just us, in the icebergs, I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future for something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were all smiling at them all the time before putting them on ice. Should we have told them something? December 25th. Christmas Underground got together with the rest of the security boys and the support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. None of the scientists came over came overseer wasn't there either i don't i just don't get it they hiding something from us another company secret only for the higher ups whatever just a few months until the all clear is supposed to come through then we can start rebuilding <laughs> all right only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period everyone's getting stir crazy some people are even saying the all clear signal is never coming we can't stay here much longer that's for sure it's not just the fact that i've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for the for over six months. Sorry about that guys. Uh, I gotta do laundry in a second. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room on bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food for another few months. 
tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just don't know it. April. The main ex the main door accessing the vault function the vault exists now is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer the evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him he has one of the science team watching the door in into his office at all times from a little makeshift chicken boy. Not invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. Last entry. No all clear from vault is coming. We need to leave. We're all out of food, but I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a, a damn salt cracker on the floor. Damn it, Stanley. A, hand, a handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that could smell that I never knew a, m a man that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of the vault. Freaks, that got, that got deep. Ooh, a nickel cola bottle. Nothing. Coffee. Battery. Clipboard. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There's crap in here. Ooh, a bottle's gonna pick up. What the frick? An oversized rad roach? Giant roaches? What the hell? Alright, coffee cups, beer bottles. Wait, there's a hollow tape? Oh, Red Menace, let's play it. I literally just found out the controls. It's, it's like to move, regular button, and then it's X. Yeet. Yeet. Can't beat me. Got it. Got it. There you go. Boom boom ba da dum 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 Oh, that's what I'm doing. I get it. I get it. No, no, no. Don't quit. Oh, come on, come on. Let's go. Try me. Try me. Oh shoot, I stabbed him through his heart. Oh, I can get. Oh, I just did this. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> this is fun. This is absolutely fun. I like this little game mode. Mario jump, Mario jump. God dang it. Whatever. Finally died anyway. I already killed him, so I don't care. Alright, high score. Quick game. Give me that. And let's move. <laughs> let's see, nothing back here probably. Hot play, I'll take you, because who knows I might need a hot play for something in the future. Gone. Ah. Oh. What happened here? Where is everyone? 
He's on. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot. Come here, come here. Stop. Bring me some water, thank you. Ooh, a pistol, finally a gun. Alright. Is this all that's left? Alright, so we got eyeglasses. I'm gonna take those. Another pistol. What the frick? Ooh. Nice. Cryo later. Coming back later for you. That cryo later looks like a beast. Alright, so you can put favorite items there. That's what I got from that. I was still reading that. Alright. Stink pack, stink pack, stink pack. Stink pack galore. Alright. The cryolator. I've dreamed long of making a cryolator. Freezing portable on demand. The cryolator is latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of chemicals and components. I need to tinker with the prototype. It's nice. But I occupy the time as we wait for the altitude. Alright. more oh, the frick. Oh, be gone be gone there you go freaking this one was about to freaking try to kill me and then it got dropped because it was dumb I, li I like the looting system in this game it's, it's good it's good I like this exit door anything else is anyone alive did anyone get out oh shoot look at that. all right I'm gonna look around oh my god it opened like literally a second ago god dang it all right whatever Forget that am I the only one left all right, so I'm gonna take this pit boy if you don't mind sorry uh, sorry guy Alright, good. So this is our pit boy. Alright. Wall control doors. Alright. Time to go. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. How do you jump? How do you, is anybody not a job? Okay, okay, had to experiment with control for a second. It's time, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to leave this horrible dream, this nightmare. Time. Finish. Take it to ball. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Those who reserved spots in Vault 111 had no idea that they would be cryogenically frozen. In fact, almost every vault was almost a seat, was actually a secret social experiment conducted by Vault Tech. Yeesh. Hmm. That's a rip. Looks like we uh, fell into a bad trap. All right, we're outside. We finally got outside, ladies and gentlemen. 
Alright, let me go to our pit boy and let me activate the one thing that's gonna start off this series. Alright. Coleman shot son. Alright. Thank you guys, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in this. I hope you guys have a good night. And until then, I will catch you in the next one. Stay out of the fallout and later.